So what's up everybody, today I'll be analyzing my orienteering during Yukola 2019 and I'm just going to say that it was an amazing event, I loved it so much that I really want to go next year. About my race, so I surpassed 400 teams while I was running and I'm going to show you how. <laughs> I was just really fast. You know? Okay, so this is the third leg, the longest of all in you call a realize, and in total it was 13.2 kilometers in length. And Let's start with the first control, which went quite nicely for me. Uh, well, I would like to pay attention to the ways you could find this control. So, so this is the start control and you could go beside this hill and basically you, you make it to the road and this is all the same. But there are two, two ways to go. You can go up the hill. So this, this is a big hill. You go up the hill, uh, over the ditch and up the hill again and just find the control. Another way was to avoid this hill at all and you just go here beside the opening and you go beside the hill, beside this hill and you just go up here. My initial plan was to go in this direction, direction but I didn't do it. So as you can see I went beside by the left side of the hill and now I'm at the, at the road so I had a, I had a decision to make. And I made the decision to go to the left side, basically avoiding the big hill, but it didn't work out that well. <laughs> yeah, shit happens, you know. I went here and I s yeah, now I realize where I was going because I was uh, making my way over the opening and I actually went over the hill because I knew where I was and going beside the hill would be quite risky considering the fact that there are a lot of hills over there. So I went over the hill, over the ditch and made my way to this hill, which was quite lucky actually, because as you can see, the control is not that not that easy. And basically I, find, I found this rocky opening, which actually led me to the control. So next control, um, I think no, there were no other ways to handle this one. Uh, so basically you just go in the direction and so you cross the path and you just need to find it. I mean I was super close, I missed it ju just by like 30 meters or so and it was quite unlucky. I should have seen this hill, as you can see there is a hill right here and I should have noticed it but I didn't and I kept going. So I actually thought that I was on this hill I don't know why, but I noticed the green because it was hard to get over and later I thought I was here so I continued in that direction. As you can see, I went to the left, to the right of the control, which was a mistake. And later I just climbed, <laughs> I found myself descending down the mountain, so I, not I knew where I was, so I went back up. Surely I found the control after like three minutes of uh, not doing anything, so rip three minutes, you know. Uh, the next control is quite easy, just go in the direction. And in Yukola, it was it is quite interesting to just find the controls because there are paths everywhere. So there is a joke about Yukola that um, the roads or paths are designated as the purple lines because I was heading in the control direction and there were paths, paths all along so I found it quite easily it was a close control next up yet again under quite easy control I went beside the mountain to my left I, f I saw the marsh uh, and I continued in that direction and I actually saw the contour, which was quite helpful, because I found the control quite easily. Next up, yet again, an easy control if you are going in the right, cor correct, cor correct direction. And I went in the cor correct direction, and right here I started being quite 
unsure where I was going. Uh, but as you can see, so this, the thing that helped me out was the rocky opening. As you can see, this grey thing, because I noticed it and I, th I had to figure out where, whether I was in this one or in this one. And I kind of yellowed it because I thought I was going in the correct direction. So I just continued on and fair enough, it was the correct way to go and I found the control. Next control was quite easy, the sixth one, because there were a lot of people going in that direction because that is the drinking point and it's not it's way too hard to, to not to not find it. So this the seventh one was quite interesting. As you can see, I was going quite slowly in this part of the race, and I don't remember why exactly. Probably, oh yeah, there were a lot of rocks and boulders. The hill was quite steep at that point, and I was actually quite unsure how to handle the next control, which is, if not, yeah, which is the longest control of the race. So let me show you. So this is the seventh control. It goes all the way here, over the map to here. And the control is actually over two kilometers in length which is quite incredible and as you can see it was hard for me to figure out the, the way I should supposed to go because it's quite important to make the right, the right decision uh, so the ways you could handle this control um, so first of all my plan was to just make it over the hill as you can see this is a big hill uh, there is a an opening here which I thought about uh, although it was quite quite some ways down there, so I didn't didn't go there. Uh, basically, my plan was to just go over the hill, go somewhere down here. As you can see, this is a hill again. Um, make myself over the ditch and find myself beside this marsh. And actually, it was quite cool that this marsh was marked in nature, so it was easy to know your location. So afterwards, my goal was to. Go right here, beside the lake, which, qu which worked quite nicely. Later, as you can see, there are some openings um, here. So, I just make up, make my way, way up the hill and find the control, which was not that hard, you know. And as you can see, I did just as exactly as I told you. And at this moment, it was the most beautiful moment of the year probably because the sun was rising behind me and it was extremely extremely beautiful i recommend you going to yukola and enjoying this moment because that is a one time chance an opportunity to, to see something that beautiful so i was super hyped to run and as you can see i was <laughs> i was super fast like what is the speed it is so it is just above 4 Insane. I was so happy because the sun was rising. I was insanely happy as you can see here again around five four so Yeah, amazing uh, next up the next control is quite easy yet again You just need to go beside the hill which is to the left and find a control which was quite easy and I was surpassing so many people that it was just insane. I was just this dude who was running so fast beside everybody besides everybody as you can see yet again the speed is just like at, at four minutes per kil kil kilometer found the control easy <laughs> next up yet again another easy control uh, my initial plan was to go into the direction and see the co the contour to the right which was quite visible so i found the control quite easily uh, next up we have another control which, which is quite long God, if, you, if I will be honest with you so as you can see from 10th to 11th and uh, it's not that hard you know you just go into the direction you go to the opening you drink some water <laughs> and you find the control that was my plan and that actually worked sort of because I will show you what happened here is one thing you need to see one 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 pretty cool Basically, I went here 
to the right I saw this 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 green which was insanely green yeah I saw it I saw the hill and I just continued in the direction I saw the opening which I which I crossed I drank some water and this is where I messed up because I thought that I needed to go to the right and as you can see I went to the right which actually I have supposed to go forward I'll just show you my thought process because it's quite dumb so my thoughts were that I needed to go just forward beside the green and find the control I went to the right I have no idea why but I saw this green which made me which was stupid because I thought that did, that is that green super dumb that is a mistake and uh, anyways I think at this point of the race I was so not tired but my mind was tired you know and basically I made my way over to the, to the left and I saw the paths which led to the control. I was quite unsatisfied by my performance in that control. Anyways, next point is yet again another another beast one. This is not that long, but it was tough because I thought about running by the road, which could have led to a better time. And probably that actually could have been the best way to go. Probably a lot of people went there. Basically, yeah, I should have ran by the road. Fuck. <laughs> because what ended up, ended up happening is I ran in the direction, crossed the green part, found the marsh, and now I needed to go in that direction, but something tripped in my brain. And I found myself in this opening, which is insanely what the heck. <laughs> And later I, yet again, made a, f a notice where I was, I took the direction and my goal was to go here, here, here and find the control somehow. Uh, but yet again, I went somewhere here. Yeah, as you can see, I found a marsh. I'll show you what happened. So this is my direction. It is what, it is just so dumb. And this point, actually, this control took like 15 plus minutes to find so yeah quite quite unfortunate as you can see what ha what ended up happening in this part of the race so I thought about being there but I was so unsure that I went back because there were paths everywhere as you can see in the map there are no paths there are literally no paths there to be found right here there were a lot of paths and which yeah, it was it was hard to understand where I was, but later I thought of being here because of the hill and sure sure enough that was the correct location of myself. <laughs> so yeah, I found the control. And now I started beasting again, as you can see. Yeah. Found the thirteenth quite easily. Found the fourteenth just by the direction and there were paths everywhere. Yeah, no need to repeat that. Uh, as you can see, the direction uh, yet again, and it's quite easy in you call to find the control because of the paths, you know. So the 16th, yes, I went to the road. You could have gone to the right side of the hill, but I went by the road and found it like that, um, which I think was the best choice, you know. Um, so here is another direction one uh, to the marsh to the left. It was quite easy to find this one, because yet again, <laughs> who would have guessed there were paths everywhere. So next up, I'm going to show you this, the 18th, so we're, we're sort of getting closer to the finish line. So as you can see, this is a big ass hill, you know, and this 18th is on the other side of the hill. So my initial plan was, well, there were a few, cho a few choices to be made. You could have ran like to the... L no, there is only one choice. So, you just need to go forward, over the hill, by the direction, and find the control. Uh, that was my plan, you know? <coughs> that was my plan. But, as you can see, I found myself on the top of the hill, and somehow, I made myself to the left. The direction was super off, and right here I started 
noticing that something was wrong. Come on, dude, where, where I'm at? And I saw the road and I was like, fuck. And I turned around and went to the control. And right here, it, it was also quite hard to understand where I was at. But finally, I found the control, which, yet again, like three minutes to my time. Yeah, stupid. Um, and here are the last controls of the race. Uh, this is the, yeah, I was just running so fast. I couldn't breathe, you know. I, I was so tired, but the finish was cut. The, f the final controls were could be seen in the horizon. So I went and I delivered my best. As you can see, my pace is around five, six. Uh, this is all the direction controls. Over the ditch, the, the hill to the right, you go, you find the control by the rock quite easily. Uh, the next one was quite interesting because you could have ran to the left side of the green thing, the, the overgrown part. Uh, I went to the right side of it and I think that was the correct uh, choice. Yeah, it was. Because to the left there were also not, it was not runnable at all. So, yeah, I don't know why I ran so high up in the hill. I think that some, the GPS is messing around because that could not be the truth. Yeah, I was here quite unsure was, where I was at, but I found the control and it's quite interesting in this part of the race that there were so many people who didn't have a single clue where they, they were at. Um, so while I was going to my 22nd control, I saw two additional controls, which made me quite unclear <laughs> where I was at, but I, f uh, I easily found the controls because I knew what to do. And as you can see, this is why there were so many controls <laughs> in the last part of the race. And a lot of people were unsure what to do with that so and I, I found it quite easily and yeah the last control and I was just so fast I, I put all the effort and the finish was right here as you can see my pace my pace is around three even sub three look at it sub three let's go and the, and that's the finish that's the finish so I hope I'll enjoy this video I I'm going to continue making these orienteering analysis videos, probably with some action invo involved, because it's quite boring <laughs> just sitting by the table and showing you what to do. And you see, these, this is the map with all the controls, which is quite cool. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.